Hello and welcome. Are you tired of fighting, messy, unworkable topology? Whether you're dealing with dense 3D scans, chaotic sculpt from ZBrush, or problematic geometry from CAD imports, clean topology is the foundation of any professional 3D workflow. Today, I'm thrilled to show you the solution. Muta Mesh Remesher. Muta Mesh is a comprehensive tooltip that integrates four distinct, state-of-the-art remeshing algorithms directly into Blender. Each one is based on cutting-edge academic research and is designed to solve specific topological challenges. We have 1. Instant meshes for incredibly fast, field-aligned remeshing. 2. Quad-wild for creating pristine feature-preserving all-quad meshes. 3. CWF for intelligently simplifying meshes while enhancing their features. And 4. Adaptropic, for advanced, curvature-aware isotropic remeshing. Let's dive in with our first tool, Instant Meshes. This is the workhorse of the add-on. Fast, robust, and incredibly versatile. Before we even click Remesh, we have crucial control over our output. Under Mesh Type, we can specify whether we want a triangle mesh, which is perfect for simulations or game engines or a quad-dominant mesh. The quad-dominant option is ideal for creating animation-ready topology, and Mutamesh even includes a post-processing step to convert this into a pure quad mesh, if needed. For now, let's focus on creating a clean quad structure. Here's our first challenge, a 3D scan of an Einstein bust. As you can see, the topology is a dense sea of triangles, over 1.7 million of them. It's detailed, but completely impractical for sculpting, UV unwrapping, or rigging. Using instant meshes, we'll set our target face count to something more manageable, like 150,000 faces or more, and ensure our mesh type is set to quad. I'll also enable preserve sharp edges to maintain the clear definition in the model. Now, watch this. With a single click, the process is complete. Look at the difference. We've transformed that chaos into clean, flowing edge loops. The algorithm has intelligently aligned the quads with the natural curvature of the face. This is the power of the field-aligned approach. At its core, it's not just reducing polybonds, it's organizing them logically. And for complete flexibility, if we needed a uniform triangle mesh from quads for this following creature sculpt, we simply switch the mesh type to triangle. The result is a high-quality, evenly distributed triangular mesh that is perfect for different production pipelines. As you can see, Instant Meshes is truly the fastest and most reliable starting point for almost any remeshing task and use case. We strongly recommend using it because of its flexibility and reliability. Now, let's talk about QuadWild. This tool is for artists and designers who demand perfection. Its purpose is singular. To convert any triangular mesh into a 100% cure quadrilateral topology while flawlessly preserving sharp features, it's the ideal choice for hard surface models, CAD conversions, and creating perfect subdivision-ready meshes. QuadWild is fundamentally designed to work with triangular inputs. So, if you're starting with a quad-based mesh, it's absolutely critical to enable the pre-process mesh option. This will first convert your model to triangles, so the algorithm can work its magic. Since our Gutenberg scan is already triangulated, we can leave this off. We'll set our sharp feature threshold to ensure the algorithm respects all the hard edges in the clothing and base. This process is more computationally intensive than instant meshes because it performs a global optimization to create the best possible patch layout. You can monitor its progress here. First, it traces the feature lines, then it solves the complex patch layout, and finally, it tessellates each patch into perfect quads. And here is the final result. As you can see, it is not a completely successful generation due to the nature of the object. It is a 3D scan with a fairly complex mesh that is not suitable for quad wild. In this case, 
instant meshes could be used without any problems. However, the result serves to show two important things. One, as you can see, although QuadWild does not perform well on this model, the mesh now consists entirely of quads. And two, it has some imperfections, holes, which can be corrected with a mesh utilities tool in our add-on when we switch to edit mode. Now let's move on to another mesh that is much more compatible with Quad Wild. This is a chair obtained from SketchUp Warehouse. As you can see, it is made up of triangles, so it is suitable for passing through Quad Wild to convert it into quads. I have set the scale factor, which is the most important property in Quad Wild, to 0.5. Remember that the lower the scale factor, the more faces the mesh will have. After clicking the remesh button, since the original mesh is not very dense, the result is almost instantaneous. And, as you can see, it creates a mesh composed of almost perfect quads. Although the resulting mesh has some small imperfections located in certain curves, it is nothing that cannot be resolved manually by removing vertices and adding others. Let's move on to our third tool, CWF, which stands for Consolidating Weak Features. This isn't just a remesher, it's an intelligent mesh simplification tool. It's designed to drastically reduce polygon count while smartly preserving and even enhancing both strong and subtle surface features. CWF only works in the field of triangular meshes, meaning we only do triangle to triangle remeshing. This face model is a great example. It has over 35,000 faces, which could be overkill for some use cases. CWF will remesh this into a more optimized triangular structure. The drop down menu where the Parson method property is displayed basically guides how the triangles will be distributed on the mesh. The default option works very well, so we recommend leaving it as is. The key parameter here is samples, which controls the density of the final mesh. The greater the number of samples, the greater the density of the mesh. For this reason, we recommend exercising caution with regard to the number of samples, as this directly affects the performance of the process. For the best performance, especially on dense models, I highly recommend always enabling the Use High Performance Engine, which uses a direct Python binding for significantly faster processing. After running CWF, we've reduced our model to just 8,000 faces by setting 3,000 samples, a massive optimization. But more importantly, the distribution of triangles is now uniform and clean, and the overall shape is perfectly intact as far as possible. Because with fewer vertices and faces, certain complex shapes that form in the original model are lost. This is the ideal way to prepare heavy assets for real-time engines, VR experiences, or for creating different levels of detail. A quick but important note, CWF is incredibly powerful, but it's designed for models with a reasonable polygon count. On hyperdense meshes, typically between 500,000 and over 1 million faces, the computation can become extremely slow, more than one hour processing. For these cases, we strongly recommend pre-deminating the mesh, if possible, using Blender's built-in tools before applying CWF to ensure a smooth and efficient workflow. Finally, we have Adoptropic. This tool performs what is known as adaptively isotropic remeshing. In simple terms, it creates a mesh where the polygon density adapts to the surface curvature. More detail where you need it, less where you don't. Like CWF, Adoptropic is responsible for remeshing only triangular meshes. Its main objective is to optimize meshes so that they are isotropic, i.e., the size of the triangles is uniform throughout the mesh, and they are equilateral or nearly equilateral. This shield is the perfect candidate. We want to preserve the intricate details of the lion's face, but we don't need that same density on the flat shield surface. By choosing the adaptively isotropic type, the algorithm will use a curvature smoothed field to intelligently distribute the polygons. The mesh scale parameter allows us to control the overall density of the final result. And here's the beautiful result. Notice the incredible concentration of detail around the lion's eyes, nose and mouth, 
all achieved with smaller, denser triangles. Meanwhile, the flat areas are represented by large, efficient polygons. This is the most optimized way to capture geometric detail, creating a high-quality mesh that is as lightweight as possible. Mutamish provides a specialized professional-grade tool for every situation. So, whether you need lightning-fast results, perfect quad topology, intelligent simplification, or adaptive detail preservation, the tool will be available for you. E-elevate your 3D workflow and spend more time creating, not cleaning. Download Mutamish today from Gunroad and Superhive Market, formerly Blender Market. Thanks for watching, guys.